Okay. Now you can see this presentation. Okay. Now presentation without any transition. Okay. Now we can apply transition between the slides. So how we will do that? You can see this. We will go to the transition part. Okay. And after transition, there are multiple functions. Okay. Now, let us add one feature. Okay. Let us add one feature like this one. Fine. And you can apply to all. Okay. There are sound effect if you want. Okay. I am not adding any sound. I have applied it to all. Now, let us see the view. Every slide, after every slide, there is a transition of push. Right? Now, if we don't want, now you can see uh, below the slide number, there is a star. That means that on that particular slide, transition feature has been applied. Now, what I want, I don't want same animation on all the slides. Like it is good to apply if you are making a presentation uh, for professionally. Okay, it is good to apply same transition on the slides. It looks good. Okay, but you can have a different transition on different slides also. Okay, I'm just setting it so that you should know all those features also, all kind of transitions which are there. Okay. Okay, so now let's start from the beginning. This is the different transition. This is different transition feature. Huh? Is it clear? If, in this way, you can add transition uh, to your slides. Transition is clear. It's between the slides. Okay. It's between the slides. See, transition is basically between the slides. If you want to make any changes in the slide itself, that you can do through animations. Okay. Now, if... Uh, now, let me open one more presentation for you to understand the animation part. Okay. Mm, let me close this one. Animation is clear to everyone now? Okay. Yeah. Don't see that. Okay, now, see, curtains, if curtains are some pictures, there is a doubt, like, we can apply the animation on the curtains. Can we change the color of the curtains? Yes, you can do it if you are making that curtains yourself. If you are adding the image for the curtain, you can apply animation on that image. But, if that curtains are the part of the uh, slide, part of that image, like whole slide, background, if you are applying that image on the background, then animation cannot be applied. Okay. Now, suppose, let me show you one thing. Uh, let me insert one blank slide. Okay. okay. This is a blank slide. Okay. Now, if you are a... Asking me to apply animation on this thing, like, like this. Now, this is the part of this whole picture. Okay, this whole slide. That I can cannot do. But if I have added some image, like, I am trying to add curtains. I don't know whether it will come or not. Okay. Curtains. Okay, let's have this curtains. These are the curtains. You can now uh, you can do this. Okay. Control V. You can add this also. Okay. Now, now I have added two images of curtains. Now you can change the color of these two animations. Okay. That I will let you know. 
Okay, now first let us see the basic things how animation has been done. Then I will tell you about the changing of the color of this curtain. Okay, now first let us understand about animations. Okay, now see if we have to do anything on the slide, on particular slide, that can be done through animation. Okay, now suppose this is a slide. Okay, you can see the slide. This is without animation. Okay. First two slides are without animation. This is animation has been applied. See. This is done through animation. Okay now. Animations on these two slides also. How we will do that? See. This is a text box. Fine. Now animations we will go to the animation. There are three options in animations. First one is for entrance, emphasis and Exit and the motion button. Okay, so we will explain all these things in detail. For that, first let me have an animation pin. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want, I want the appearance of this space to be like grow and turn, right? And after this, I want this box to be come. This test your knowledge. After this one, I want uh, this to be come like this, right? Now you can play from here. It will look like this. Okay, now after test your knowledge, I want this, both the things, like this one as well as this one, to emphasize the thing. Okay, I can need to add animation. You can spin this. Fine. You can select two of two. Uh, text boxes to have the same animation effect or you can add animation effect separately also. Okay. Next again add animation for exit. Now I want that thing to be exit. Okay. So how I will, how it will do? Suppose now I am not selecting both the things. I want first this thing to disappear. So for that, I will add animation for exit, disappear, okay, and then I want this thing to be disappear. Again, add animation, flyer, okay. Now, let's have a look how our first slide looks like, okay. Space, this both for entrance, now both having the same uh, emphasize effect. Next, that test your knowledge has been disappeared. Space has gone. Is it clear how we can apply animation to our slide? Okay. Now, what I want, I want this and this to appear at the same time. Add animation appear. Uh, let me change it to fine or bounce. Fine, this is okay. Then I want this answer to come after mouse click. Fine, okay. And I want this uh, the motion path to go. You can have this. Okay. So now let's have a look. Now 
this thing question has come on mouse click answer will come okay the moment i have clicked answer will come and after answer the position of the astronaut will change because i have applied the animation on this also is it clear animation part is clear okay okay now let us try to add the color see animation animations are basically the uh, parts okay these are the different parts so let me try to do it wait See this image. The effect, the color changing, is not um, happening on this. But yes, you can do it if you uh, add some image. Now you can change the color. Okay. Now the last thing which I wanted you to explain in this is uh, trigger, which is also very good feature. Okay. Let me tell you the function of trigger also. Let me add a new slide. Blank one. Okay, now sometimes what happen? Okay, suppose let me insert some images. Insert images. Okay, these are the flags of five countries. Okay, now what I have done, I want to insert a button or a shape. You can see. Okay, let's have a smile. So, shapes. Okay. Show. Sure. Now, what I want on on pressing this show button, I want all these uh, images to appear. Okay, so what I how I will do that? Let me change its position. Let me add show here. Okay. Okay. So right now my presentation will be like this. But what I want, I want on pressing show now these images will come. So how I will do that? 
I will use trigger in that animations. Okay. Animation pane. First, appear this. Okay, then apply trigger on this on click of this is rectangle, right? Yeah, I want a trigger effect on click of this button. Fine. Now, what I want after clicking this, I want this, 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 and selected all the images. I want this images to come. With fine, so I want to add uh, okay. So now let's have a preview of it. This should come out with previous. Now, this is the show. Okay. Now you can click the moment I will click on show now. That images will come. This is the trigger on pressing any button. If you want that action to perform, that will come. Again, you can apply trigger on this particular flag if you want some other actions to be happen. In this way, you can apply trigger. Okay? Is it clear? See, man walking and uh, 3D effects, you can add it online. Huh? What do you want me to explain? I am not getting you. So, I will suggest you to add, uh, to use animations and transitions in your presentations. Okay, it is an important step. It, it shows, it puts the good impression on the audience. Okay, so try to use these two features, animations and transitions. Okay, and uh, if you want to have an effect, same effect on all the slides, you can create a master slide or you can make changes on the existing master slides. Okay, and the last one which I wanted you to know is if you uh, try to make use of uh, smart art to the max. Okay, because it, it uh, looks your presentations good. Formatted. Okay, and the last thing which I wanted you all to know if you want to take out the printout of this, you can take out, you can go to the file tab and you can print it and in this way you can take out the printout. It is up to us, you can take out the printout of all slides or print the selection one or the custom range. Okay, fine, fine. That's all for today's session. If you have, if you still have some doubts, please let me know. Try to uh, work on PowerPoint. Try to make uh, presentations. Okay. So, the maximum use you will do it, the more you will learn it. Okay. That's all for today. Hope you like today's session. Thank you so much.